It is July 5th and I'm back at Knott's Berry Farm because we were here yesterday on 4th of July and I saw something so shocking that I was speechless. So I'm back today to check it out. Let's head inside and take a look at this. Hold up, wait a minute. I came for something else today, but bigger news, breaking news. What is this? The big news today is walls have gone up in Fiesta Village. Knott's announced a new Fiesta Village coming September 2023. So what's closed is the arcade, the Casa California gift shop, candy shop, the stage where the Bob Baker marionettes were performing, La Papa Loca, and the drink refill station. But Cantina is still open. There's a little bar set up next to the Cantina. And the games and rides are still open with the exception of Montezuma. It appears the new walls and construction may have something to do with the new Montezuma's Revenge that will be coming next summer. So this has been closed for a couple months now. So what was so shocking yesterday is I noticed they had new pretzels. And I haven't had a pretzel in a little while, but they used to have the super pretzel type of pretzels. I noticed at the saloon yesterday they changed to these big, almost like homemade looking, fluffy, heavy pretzels, almost like an Auntie Anne's. So they're not the standard frozen super pretzels anymore. So let's see what this tastes like. <laughs> Looks really good. So now previously they used to have pretzels around the park and some locations used water to get the salt to stick on, some used butter. And I always opted for the locations that used water because they weren't as greasy. This definitely looks like it has butter on it. You can get pretzels at four different locations. The stand in front of Sutter's, which used to be called Pemmican Pickle where they have the refill station and the pretzels and churros, ICs right in front of Sutter's. And there's also the cave in in Camp Snoopy. It's a little rock chop <laughs> across from the, the waterfall. And then also the little pretzel stand, lemonade stand between Fiesta Village and Camp Snoopy. And the fourth location is the saloon in Ghost Town. So let's give this a try. So right off the bat, I can tell you it is fresh, straight out of the oven. It's buttery, salty. It's maybe a little bit more buttery, greasy than I would like, but it's really tasty. It almost tastes like when you go to like an Italian restaurant and they have like the garlic knots. It tastes fresh, homemade. Very good. Again, I'm not sure when they switched to these, so if you know, put it down in the comments. But this is really good. I'm more of a fan of the super pretzel type at the mall, like back in the 80s, 90s, when you used to go to the mall and get the pretzel, the pretzel place with the spreadable cheese. I always preferred those over Auntie Anne's, but this is really good, very fresh. Mm. Verdict on the pretzel, it was very good, recommended. The pretzels are one of my favorite snacks here at the park, other than the popcorn, <laughs> my favorite snack. Since it was kind of heavy and I ate it before lunch, I opted for a berry salad from here at the Boardwalk Barbecue. Feta cheese, uh, boysenberries, blueberries, strawberries, avocado ranch, and croutons. Nice light meal after that pretzel. But if you're looking for pretzels, again, four locations that you can get it. And the associate at the pickle stand or the Sutter stand told me that they've been switching them on and off but they've had them for about a week now. So just notice them, it was very, very good. And now it's time for the weather with our K-Nog weatherman, Johnny Storm. Johnny, how was the weather? Warm and sunny weather expected for the boardwalk this week. Well, we the village, chilly today. Ironically, you cannot get a pretzel here at the pretzel stand because <laughs> it's never open. This appeared during one of the taste festivals in 2020 or 2021 and I've never seen it open since. Another update, it appears Wilderness Broiler is closed, which makes sense because the park said that there would not be a Taste of Knots item after July 4th. So maybe it's going to be closed for a little while, maybe a remodel, or maybe they're moving staff over to the pizza place, which has not yet opened. Prop Shop Pizza is also not open, but the margaritas are in the machine and there's like packaged food on the counter and management was in there earlier today so maybe this week 
to reiterate, everything in Fiesta Village is still open with the exception of Montezuma's Revenge. Fiesta Dog and Cantina is still open. Once again, everything in Fiesta Village is still open. Everything is still open with the exception of Montezuma. The carousel is running open. All the rides are open and running. So the leather shop next to the Indian Trail stage has reopened and it's now under Knott's management. It's no longer Cayman's, but they still have personalized accessories. All sorts of bracelets, hats. These are cool. Luggage tags that say Knott's. Some of this merch is new, or new for in here anyway. Oh, look at this. What is this, a pillow? Yeah, it's a pillow made That's from a, the jeans. Oh, it's a pillow made from all these jean labels. Mm -hmm. well, that's cool. So we have all these leather jackets. This one goes for three fifty, And you get your employee discount. Oh, your uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, member discount. Pass discount. <laughs> This is the only place now that you can actually do a personalized leather bracelet. And how much are these? The so it goes $14. 14 uh -huh. New ones like this, it's okay. 19 19 okay, 14 to $19. I like this luggage tag. That's kind of cool. That's very cool. So these are from over by the, the barbecue, right? Yeah, okay. So it's all been moved in here. So the leather shop that used to be here is now gone. And they moved it over to by Indian Trail. That's it here from Knott's Berry Farm. A lot going on today. Simply came today to check on the new Prop Shop Pizza, which is not opened, although there was food and management inside, so it could be any day. The pretzels were really good, so try one of those. But notice the walls are up in Fiesta Village. Knott's announced that a refresh of the area will come next summer, probably to coincide with the grand reopening of Montezuma's Revenge. Other than that ride, every other attraction in Fiesta Village is open, the exception of the arcade, uh, the Casa California gift shop, candy shop, and La Papa Loca and the stage has been closed, but everything else is open, all the walkways you can still get through. It doesn't hinder anything over there at all. Uh, the leather band personalization place by the Fireman's Barbecue has closed and moved into the old Cayman's leather shop location, now run by Knott's right next to the Indian Trail stage, next to the restrooms. And what else? I think that was it. There was a lot going on in the park today. So hopefully you enjoyed that update. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Thanks for watching. Now I gotta charge my phone, it's dead. It's on 1%. <laughs>